Hi and welcome to this DC Freeware tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create 3D text in Blender. Okay, so I've got this little Blender project set up here. We have a light source and we have a camera and we have this text and this text has got some depth to it and it's also got a beveled edge and then we're just illuminating it using this light source. So let's go ahead and recreate this using Blender. So I'm going to go to File, New and we'll just create a new general project. We won't save this project. So we've got the default scene that you would normally see in Blender. I'm going to just turn on my screencast keys so that you can see all of the key presses uh, down here. So let's go ahead and click on this cube and delete it. And we're going to press Shift and A. Shift A. And then we'll click on this text option. So we have some text here. Let's just pan around and then we can zoom in with our mouse. And let's in fact press number seven. Number seven takes us into the top, top orthographic and we want to change the font first of all. So to change the font, we can go over to the settings here. And when we click on that, we can go to the font settings here and then we can click on the open folder and we'll see all the different fonts that are currently installed on my computer. So when you click it, you'll see all the different fonts on your computer. So we can go ahead and click on this font, for example, then click open font and we can see the text has changed to that particular font. You can also download fonts. So if we go ahead and open up the web browser, I've just typed in Montserrat Free Font. We can click on this website, 1001 Free Fonts. We can click on any of them, click here, and then we can see this font here. This is quite a nice clean font, so we'll click download. And we'll download this font. Let's just minimize Blender for a second. I've got this folder on my desktop. Let's go ahead and click delete this font here and we'll drag in this font that we've just downloaded, right? So if we extract this font, the one we've just downloaded, we can delete the zip file, we don't need that anymore. Then we can go back to Blender and we can click on this text and then we can go to the open folder, go to my desktop, go into this 3D text and here's the folder we just downloaded. We can select the bold or the regular. Let's select regular for now and click open. So now we're using that particular font and you can download any font or use any font from your computer. Um, right now the text is standing, uh, it's, it's facing, facing flat on the surface. So really we want to rotate that, but let's do that in a second. Let's edit the text first. So I'm going to click on it and press the tab key or you can go to edit mode here. But I'm going to just click on the text and press the tab key. That takes us into edit mode and let's just type in blender. And then press the tab key to go back into the uh, object mode. So let's click on this text and we want to really center this text on the registration point here, the origin. So to do that, the easy way to do that is to scroll down here and on the alignment horizontal set it to center. And then on the top baseline or the vertical here, we want to set that to center. Now this text will be in the middle of this origin point. So when we rotate it or do anything to the text, we're going to rotate it around the center point here rather than over in the bottom corner here which will cause problems in rotation right now this text is not really facing the right way so let's just go into the object data here object properties and on the x-axis so this is the um, x-axis here the, the red line so in the rotation here we can set it to 90 degrees and now now it's facing uh, now it's facing upwards right you can see that but if we um, zoom in on here Let's just zoom in on this text. We can see that it's very, very thin. We don't want it to be that thin. So let's go back onto the object properties for the text and let's go to geometry and then let's extrude it. So we're gonna extrude it maybe like 0 0.1 here. So now you can see the text is much thicker. So if we zoom right in on this text, you can see that it's got some depth now and that just really helps with, you know, 3D text needs to have some depth it kind of makes sense but we can also add a bevel here so if we you can see there's a bevel option here and on the rounded edge we can set that to like 0 0.2 0 0.02 then we've got this nice rounded edge and this edge will help to reflect the light source right the light source that's hitting it and it just makes the text look a little bit better let's press number one on our keyboard and we want this text to be sitting above this red line so let's just go ahead and press G to grab it then Z to lock it on the Z axis, and then we'll just move it slightly above um, this red line here. Okay, so if we um, just look at this text, if we try and render it, let's press F12, we can see the camera is in some awkward position and the light source is not in a great position either. So let's sort out the camera position and light source quickly. Let's close this. 
we're already in uh, if you press number one that's going to take you to the front orthographic and if you zoom out a little bit and try and get your text centered on the screen and press control shift and zero control shift and zero that will move the camera to that position then we can go to the camera data or let's click on the camera itself and then on the uh, let's see on the X location we can set it to zero and that will center out the text there and then on the Z location let's just move it up and then let's rotate it downwards so I'm just going to move it up and rotate it down so now we're almost looking down we can see the top edge of the text and then on Y we can move it in a little bit let's just move it down on the Z axis and if we render now at least we're looking at it from the front you can see the top and you can see the the lighting will be a bit better but the position of that light source is not great so let's press number seven number seven takes us into the top orthographic so that's number seven on my keyboard right here you can see the light source let's press g to grab it and let's move it in front of the text here we'll move it in front and if we middle mouse click and if we try and render it now if we press f12 we can see the lighting's a bit better right but we can still move that light source down because where the light source is positioned also ref uh, affects how that text is illuminated. You can see it's pretty high up here. So let's just um, press number three. Number three will take us into the right orthographic. Then we can click on the light source, press G to grab it, press Z to lock it on the Z axis and bring it down so that it's right in front of the text now, right in front of the text. Now when we press F12 to render, we can see the text is illuminated much better. We can reduce the, the light source or move its distance away so it's you know we can fix that anyway so let's just go ahead and click on this text because right now it's just not very good so we can go into render view we see it's very bright the light source but we'll, we maybe will reduce the light source in a moment but right now we want to click on the text and go into render view up here and then go to the material and we'll add a new material let's just give it a name text let's just call it text is fine and then we can change the base color now so we can change it to to blue we can change it to whatever color we want maybe a nice sort of blue color would be cool something like this and uh let's set the metallic all the way up so now it's got this metallic surface and if we see when we move our render around we can see that all the nice reflections are coming off and the text already looks better let's try and render it again and now you can see the text rendered out and if you want to reduce the power of the light or move it You've got kind of two options so either you can go press number seven that takes you back into the top top orthographic you can click on that light source press g to grab it and then we want to lock it on the y axis so press y you can move the text back or forward you can see how that would affect the text right you can even animate this light source flowing over it and then illuminating it afterwards that might be something pretty cool to do as well so maybe we look at that in another tutorial let's move it back a little bit now we can see that it's not so um right in the center here because we move that that light source back a little bit right so that's how you go about adding 3d text in blender it's a nice simple tutorial nothing too complicated i'm going to be making quite a few tutorials in blender so if you like using blender you can check out a lot of the other tutorials i've made previously i haven't been using blender for quite some time i've been working on other stuff and learning other stuff but i want to come back to blender maybe look at creating some new animations using this this particular tool let's go ahead and go to file save as and we should always save our work so we can just call this blender version 2 we'll save this and that's a simple tutorial showing you how to add 3d text in blender using blender 3 so we're using the latest version which is blender 3 hopefully you find this tutorial useful don't forget to hit that like button and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial